Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'll be showing you how to make a giant paper lavender. All the materials and template will be linked below the video. You'll have a square or rectangle green piece that's about 3.5 inches in width and you could make a variety of different heights. Use a half PVC pipe to measure where you would like to roll the green piece and glue with white glue. I like to use white glue for this so it doesn't create any gaps like hot glue would. I loosely wrap the pipe, don't make it too tight when rolling. Do the same to the second piece. Then cut out the flower shapes in a bluish purple. I do have a template for people cutting it by hand, along with templates for Cricut and Silhouette users. Go ahead and curl all the petals. I'm using a wooden stick, but you could use a pencil or pen. Then hot glue the two flowers. I like to offset the flowers. Then glue the bottom leaves and try to match the holes in the center to meet. I like to make about 10 more of these flowers per stem, but you could choose to make more or less depending on how tall you'd like the lavender. I also have a tutorial on template for the small size paper lavenders you could check out. Then string it through the PVC pipe. For the first flower, I just let it stay on the top, leaving about an inch of the pipe so you can't really see it, but you could also glue it down on the top. Then alternate from green piece to flower. Then add onto concrete base, and I will have an instruction for the base after finishing the lavenders in this video. I add Mod Podge on the leftover PVC pipe and add green tissue paper and Mod Podge on top as well. I felt this adds some texture and, and acts as a good primer to paint after if needed. Next is the concrete base. I have a few tutorials already explaining some of the steps, but I will be going through it briefly here again. I like to use the Rapid Set Cement All. This one also automatically smooths and sets really quickly, and this color is a light gray. Other cements are different color, some are not smooth finishing, and some are not rapid set, so you'll have to see what's similar if you can't find this exact one. I pour more cement and a little water and mix it until it feels like a pancake consistency. You want to be safe when handling this because if the cement goes onto your skin, it will cause a burn. Please wear sleeves, definitely better gloves than the one I'm wearing here, goggles and a mask and be outdoors. Once you have enough to pour, I use this plastic plant saucer as my mold. You can find it in the plant section and I will be linking it below. Add the PVC pipe directly or use a bigger width PVC pipe with a short piece and add the smaller lavender pipe into it after it dries. That way it is detachable. I'm using duct tape to help keep the pipe standing until it dries. Once it's ready, you could take it out from the plastic mold and add your giant lavenders. I'll be having more giant flower tutorials soon, so please like this video and subscribe. Thank you for watching.